today we're going to swap a fan. I'm going to replace the fan in this Intel NUC. You can see here, this is the NUC 7i7 BNH. Man, I have had this thing on for maybe three years, 24 hours a day. Um, only been restarted a few times and uh, it's amazing it works great and this is the fan that we're gonna replace I got this off Amazon I'll put the link below and uh, there's actually a lot of people who sell this replacement fan and I spent uh, $12 on this fan all right so we start on the back with these screws here So that comes off like that. See, these are set in there. This part here lifts straight out. It's attached with two wires. One is the SATA wire, and the other one is <laughs> this little one right here. So the SATA wire, it's going straight down. So you've got to kind of give it a little jiggle as you're pulling up on it, like that. If you pull it straight up, you can crack it because it's an L-shaped one. So just kind of hold it on the side and give a little pull like that. This guy here has two little teeth on the side of him, two little teeth on each side, and fingernails can fit on each side of it and just pull straight up on it like that okay um, this is just the uh, optional secondary SSD drive which I've got in there so there's a few screws which you've got to take off to remove this motherboard assembly one of them is right here and the other one is underneath this M2 take the M2 out And there's the other one right there. These two wires right here, um, one is silver and one is black. Um, I've labeled this one here that the black one goes on this side. I just took a Sharpie out and put a little dot right there. So that'll remind me to put those on there. These are interesting. They're, um, you just pull them right off. They have a little teeny little hole there that pops right on there. They're a little finicky to pop on. But you want to undo these both just by lightly pulling them off. And now this tray will come out. So I just lifted right on this little USB header here. Just lifted him right out. Okay, now he is still attached with this guy right here which goes into the power button there so we can actually leave him on and we're just going to flip it over i'll just put it right there and there's our fan so there's these little <laughs> these little retainer washers on the back and here's where the other one flew so I'm going to go look for the other screw that fell behind my desk. And this fan just clips on right here. So two fingernails on the side of each of those pull this guy up. This is the fan that you want to find the replacement part for. I'm going to put this number below. I looked on Amazon for the replacement part for this fan. And I found one that was $14, but then I found this one that is a different model number, but it said this works on, and it listed like 15 different uh, Intel NUCs. And there were people underneath saying, yes, indeed, this works for this one. So we're gonna find out. So you lay it in there, and right away I can see that it, it does fit. It's right over this and lines up perfectly there. 
and this thing fits into there. So we're good. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna put these screws on. Should I use these washers? Should I do it? This is one of those things that can only go in one way. All right, the pins are on the back there. So it goes in like this. Okay, heard that click in there, that was really nice. Okay, and then this flips over upside down. Hold these two wires out. This flips in upside down like this. There's a little trough which those go through right there. Again, hold this USB header and slide this guy right into place. So these little guys here, there's a little circle on the back side that snaps onto a little tiny pin on the motherboard there. It's gonna be kind of hard to show you with my fingers, but you just basically line it up right over that little area there. And then you push down with another finger and it just snaps in there. There, and this guy similarly, just like that. Okay, so now it's time to screw the motherboard back down in this, in the chassis. Make sure that you're keeping all four corners open to put this lid back on in a minute. So the two places where these little screws go to hold the motherboard down are not the corner ones, but they're this one and straight across this guy. All right, now we can put the M2 back. And now we can put the hard drive back. This guy clips right in here. Click. And same with the SATA. SATA connector goes straight down. And this can only go back one way, and you can always see these two notches here. There's two notches on the plastic right there. So it fits right down in there. Same thing with the back plate, it says front. It can only go on one way toward the front. And there you have it.